Oh God, I mean, Leadville is really different from Manhattan. Oh my gosh, I love all my teachers here. <laughs> they make classes that I didn't used to like just amazing. Each of our classes connect to other classes. So if you're taking a Spanish class, it'll somehow connect to your English class or history. My chore is cleaning the red room. I'm the supply closet, so I walk back and forth between here and that building, and I ask if anybody needs anything. My chore is in here, so I'm like wiping down all these tables and like sweeping the floor. My chore is doing, so I vacuum and wipe down the counters, and it's really warm in there. Ozzy L and I clean the East Building bathroom. We go over it with the Swiffer, clean the toilet, calm it the shower, replace all the toilet paper rolls and the soap. Just make sure everything looks in tip-top shape. Hey, what's up? My name's Aiden. I'm here at the Barnes Building, semester 45, and I'm ready to show you around my home. I'm Asa, um, I'm from Portland, Oregon. I'm Abby, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm Liz, I'm from New York City. Hey, come, come in, come in. This, this is the mudroom. Basically, it's called the mudroom because how dirty it is all the time. But this is where we keep all of our schoolwork, miscellaneous things that we need during the day, packages, um, and there's a little telly right here. Hi, Mom. Um, and that's where we call our parents from occasionally. Hi, I'm Sophie. This is um, where we leave messages. The faculty will leave messages for the students about like if your parents call. Uh, over here, we have uh, just like general notes we have schedules, emails, cook crews, any changes to schedules. Okay. Beginning of the semester, we had a cabin meeting and we made a list of do's and don'ts. Uh, some do's are to keep the cabin clean, pick up trash, be nice to everyone. Um, one of the most important ones to us is spending time as a cabin. And we also always want to give feedback to each other, so because we are living together and spending so much time together. This is the library where people are working right now, so we're going to visit it later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually clean the library. It's one of my chores. I clean it, I, you, I scrub it, I scrub all the tables, I wash all the windows, I clean all the whiteboards. I, I'm, I'm basically the, the gears that keeps this, this place running. <laughs> Oh, the food here is phenomenal, and it's really cool that we all make it for each other. So it's really nice to compliment the cook crew and see what everyone's capable of and how much better the meals get as the semester progresses and people learn how to cook better. Ahorita acabo de terminar de correr tres mías. Fue terrible porque hacía mucho frío, 37 grados, muy frío. Y estoy comiendo huevos. Carne y fruta. Y es un desayuno muy bueno. Mejor que la escuela que atiendo. Hey, I'm Jeff, uh, kitchen manager here at HMI. Um, I'm all things food, which today we're doing a little comfort food. Uh, we got a salad gun, we got coconut curry, tomato soup, and grilled cheese, everybody's favorite. Students learn how to work together on Cook Crew, which is really nice. We try to at least once during the semester, once everybody gets more comfortable, students get an opportunity to be cook captain for a day. Hey, I have to make pad thai for 60 people. 
people. And I was like, I've never made pad thai. This sounds great. Oh, <laughs> so much fun. No, so kikuru is really fun. Like, seriously. I was kind of worried that four months without my phone was going to feel like a lot, but I, I haven't even thought about it. Not at all. No. I do not miss my cell phone at all. I was really addicted to my phone before I came to HMI, and I think that like I didn't think I could survive without yeah. my phone. But it's actually like really easy, and it like makes me a lot less stressed. It's been amazing for me. Like I, my mind feels so much more calm. I'm overseeing wood chopping right now, which is a typical Saturday activity. I've never chopped wood. <laughs> I've never no. chopped wood either. <laughs> We need to split wood at HMI to have something to put in our wood burning stoves, which is what keeps us warm at night. I find it very fun. I think it's a great like stress reliever to be honest. Like just you know to like full force swing at a piece of wood. Wood chopping has been really fun. It feels really empowering to just be able to like swing an axe around, and get through some wood. It's like a power move at the axe. Yes, yes. Makes me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's cool. I was really bad at it at first, and I've gotten a lot better at it, so it's pretty satisfying. Keeping your hand really high at first, and then as you swing down, letting your hand slide. Cool to see them being self sufficient. really get closer to the people. And I've only been here for like a month and it's still been like one of the best months of my life, so. HMI is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take away a lot from HMI. Um, I think HMI has taught me a lot about leadership, um, looking at how to be a leader within your community and also like keeping myself accountable. That's really fun. Really suggest it to anyone watching. <laughs> Just feel grateful to be here every day.